In this video, we are going to see how program indentation is done. What is indentation? The distance of text from the left margin is called the indent. In programs, indentation is used to separate logically different blocks of program. Let's take an example. Just look at this set of five sentences. It has been written one after the other. There is no indentation. All the lines have the same distance from the left margin. Now the same example, take a look here. What has been done here? Each statement block has been written separately. This control structure for each. So this is here between these two braces. The next set is at a different indentation from the left margin. If is here, then again there is control structure. So it has a different indentation. So you can read this and understand that this program segment is starting here and ending here. This control structure is starting here and ending here. This one is starting here and it has got just one statement there. So it makes reading of the program as well as understanding of the program very easy. Indented program is more understandable. We saw just now flow of control from the for loop to if and back to for is very clear. Each for loop and the if loop was very clear where it was starting and where it was ending. If you insert blank lines, that is also a part of indentation itself. Let's see some situations where you should use indentations. Blank lines between logical or functional blocks of code. Suppose there are 10 different things you are doing in a single program. So one function is ended, you give a blank line, then the second one starts again a blank line, the third one starts. So anybody who is going through that program will know that, okay, this has ended here because there is a blank. Something new has started there. Blank spaces around operators. If you are giving a declaration statement like uh, A is equal to 2. So theoretically, the program allows you to write A without any space equal to without any space 2. But ideally, you should give blank space so that anybody who is reading it is clearly understanding what is being written or tabs at the beginning of new control structures. Always give tabs at the beginning of new control structures so that the block of statements that form each control structure is very clear to anybody who is reading that program. So in this video, we have understood what is indentation how we should indent our program and why we should give indentation. In the next video, we are going to discuss about debugging a program.